Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all my favorite lip products from lip liners, lip steams, lipsticks, and lip glosses. So, <laughs> I have a ton of things to show you. I actually had to take a lot of stuff out because it got to be insane, the amount of products that I picked out to show you guys. So, yeah, I like lip products a lot, apparently. So, first I'm going to show you my like lip stains and liners and things. I love these CoverGirl Outlast lip stains. They're really, really nice. I have never tried. I know Revlon has like the Just Bitten, but these are really the only ones that I use, the CoverGirl. I know originally they had a name to each color, but it doesn't say it on the packaging once you buy it. So this one is 400. It's kind of like a cool berry color. And this one is 435. And it's like a nude. And I like both of them a lot. They're just amazing, especially in the summer. It's like no fuss. That is 400 and that's 435 so that's like the berry shade and that's more of the nude color. They last for a really, really long time, as should a lip stain. The very little bit of product, of like liquid product that does go onto your lips is moisturizing. Compared to chapstick, it's not moisturizing, but compared to a lot of other lip stains, they definitely are. They feel very comfortable on your lips, so I love those. As far as lip liners go, I'm a huge fan of the Rimmel lip liners. This one is the 1000 Kisses Stay On Lip Pencil, and it's in the color Natural. The name describes it really perfectly. It is just the most natural color. It's perfect for any color um, like look you're going for. It's really great for nude lips, obviously. Right there. The other one that I have is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner from Rimmel. This is the color East End Snob, and this isn't a pencil. It's one of the roll-up ones, but this is perfect for any like pink look you're going for. So that's natural and that's East End Snob. Another product that is actually lipstick and a lip liner put together, actually two products, um, this is the Bugsum Big and Healthy Lipstick in the color Marrakesh. It serves as a lip liner and a lipstick and it is a plumping product. It's a really great color though, it's just a nice pale nude. Another dual product like that that I have is the Smashbox Double Take Lip Color in the color Gossamer and one side is a lip liner. The lip liner doesn't really show up that much but I just like the, uh, the lip color side. That's the lip liner so you can barely see it. Um, it is good for like a pale lip but the other side is the lip color side and it is like this gorgeous peachy pink. I hope that they still make this one. I know they make the Double Take Lip Colors but I'm not sure if they make them in Gossamer. I'm pretty sure they do though. Moving on to the lipsticks, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get my MAC lipsticks out of the way first. This one is Shy Girl. Just a peachy color. Swatched it out right here for you. And to be honest with you, I don't really like to wear this one on its own too much. Um, but it's gorgeous paired with glosses and layered with other um, lighter glosses. It is so, so pretty. So it's definitely one of my favorites for that reason. The next color is Angel. And this one got dropped in the sink, so it looks kind of weird. But Angel is just a really gorgeous, um, like, posy pink. It is a cool pink, so it makes your teeth look whiter, which is nice. That's why I really love this color. Um, so next to Shy Girl, you can see Angel. Honestly, just the perfect pink. The next one is Cream Cup, and it is very similar to Angel. But I have to say, um, even the swatches look very, very similar. But it's just a touch brighter. I really like it. I find that it really gives you a beautiful petal pink, very sultry might not be the right word here, but it's very feminine. It's like uber feminine color. And it's really pretty if you just dab it on very lightly too. My next favorite MAC lipstick is Crim de Nude. And it is my favorite really, really pale nude. Um, you can see it's very, very pale. And next to all the other ones, you can barely see it come to nude. It's kind of blending into my skin right there. It just has a little bit of color to it so you don't look dead. So you get that really pale concealer lip look without the side effects of looking like you have concealer on your lips. I tend to wear creme de nude a lot more in the winter time. I really like that one though. I don't have a ton of MAC lipsticks like I said. I mean, those are the ones that I wear the most. Those are my all-time favorite, favorite ones. Uh, the rest of them are just a mix of different different brands. This is the Revlon, and I think this is the Color Burst collection that recently came out, I think. Um, but it's the Revlon lipstick, and it looks like this has like the quilted pattern on it. If you're looking for it in the drugstore, you can find it. Which I like. I really like the packaging on this. And it's the color Soft Nude. 
very similar to Crimson Nude except it has more color to it. I always describe this as like an apricot color. But so you can see, it's not as pale as Crimson Nude, but definitely um, paler than all the rest of the colors I've swatched out so far, I would say. Yeah, pretty much, except for the liner. So that's that one. And then this one, these just came out too, but I love this color. It's the um, it's the CoverGirl lipstick, and I forget I forget the official name. They never put it on the actual packaging, but you know, it's this one that just came out with a really pretty bright color. It's very the color that comes out is actually very true to the color indicator at the bottom, which is a beautiful tropical pink. It is so bright, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it for spring and summer. Here, even though it's not summer yet. Um, makes me happy. So it's this one. Very, very bright. Like I said, like a tropical pink. It is on the cooler side. I only have two more lipsticks, so bear with me. This one is the Too Faced Lip of Luxury Lipstick, which comes in a really glitzy packaging. Um, but the color is Totally Nude is the name of it. And it looks like that. Actually, um, it's kind of dark, but it's beautiful for the summertime. It's beautiful. You can really get it to look very pale if you add some lighter glosses on top. Actually, it pales out really, really easily, which is surprising, I know, considering how dark it looks, but it's gorgeous. I love this color. It's just like a tawny, beautiful for the summer, beautiful with coral glosses on top of it. The idea behind this lipstick is that it's infused with like champagne or something. So I guess it's supposed to smell like fizzy and it feels like tingly and fizzy on your lips. I guess it's supposed to smell like champagne. Some people think it smells really bad. I don't think it smells bad. Just interesting. But I wear it anyways because I like the color so much. It's really, really pretty. This is the Trish McAvoy <laughs> Gorgeous Lip Color in the color Gorgeous Demure. Looks pretty similar to Creme de Nude as well. Um, I really love nudes. But I'm not a big fan when they turn super orange or super brown on me. So I looked really high and low for the perfect, like, beigey pink nude. And this really is it. And I think if a lot of people tried this lipstick, they would actually think it was just, like, nothing. But I really like it because it is just light enough that it gives me a pale lip, but it has just a tint of pinky beige color to it. You can see the difference between, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but like this is Gorgeous Demure and this one is Creme de Nude. Gorgeous Demure is showing up a lot darker on camera than Creme de Nude, but they're actually very, very similar in real life. And this one is more like pinky beige. Very, very neutral. That's how I would describe it. Super neutral, pale lip. So it goes with everything. That's why I really, really like that. It goes on very nicely. It doesn't like fall into the lines on your lips or anything like that. And that's the other thing I like about this Revlon lip color. It goes on so pretty. It has a little bit of a shine, so you don't need a gloss on top of it. It doesn't sink in the lines in your lips and give you that weird pale lip issue that I know a lot of lipsticks um, do. So I really like those. My two favorite MAC lip glosses are, this shouldn't be a surprise to you guys, but um, See Through and Underage. Um, this one is Underage and this one, See Through. So this one's more of a flesh tone and this one's like a pastel pink. One that I've discovered more recently but is just the most amazing gloss ever is the Benefit Ultra Shine Gloss in Life on the A-List. It's a beautiful pink. This gloss is so amazing because A, it smells like spree candy or it smells like some kind of candy or watermelons or something. It smells so good. And B, it's just this super creamy, highly, highly pigmented pink. I can't wear a lot of glosses by themselves because I don't have very pigmented lips so they don't really show up. But this one is so pigmented that I can wear it by itself and it looks gorgeous. Life on the A-List by Benefit is definitely amazing. Oh, I forgot a MAC gloss, but this is the Dazzle Glass. This is the, the Funtabulous Dazzle Glass by MAC. This one's a really, really bright, like, electric purple. But I seriously love the color so much. It's like an electric fuchsia. 
Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. And the only thing I don't like about it is sometimes the glitter can be a little patchy when you apply it, so you have to apply like a lot of it to get an even application. I don't know if they've discontinued this color. I've heard that they have, but I don't really keep up on that kind of stuff. So if any of you know, please let me know in the comments. And then another gloss, um, this is actually a drugstore lip gloss that is amazing that I'm really loving. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses, and this one is in Peach Petal. This is such a good gloss. This is like better than a lot of the pale pink, like peachy pink glosses that I found in Sephora. So, and this is like half the price. It's like a very milky peach, hence the name. You can see it's like the palest of all of them so far. This is the same line, the Super Lustrous line, and this is um, Lilac Pastel is the color. And one of my subscribers suggested I try out this color. And I'm so glad they did. Thank you so much for suggesting this because I honestly love this color so much. I've worn it in a couple of my videos and it really comes across on camera. It looks super, super icy purple, like straight up lavender. And it does look like that in the tube, like definitely in person. The swatch is probably going to look just as crazy and purple and insane. Maybe not next to Funtabulous, but it does come across that way on camera. But it is very, very subtle and very, very pretty in person. It's not as crazy, especially if you layer it on top of like a different lipstick or something like that. I was so happy to find a color like this in the drugstore. It's so pretty. Okay, I have Turkish Delight here because I have to include it because I love it. So layered over lipsticks, Turkish Delight is amazing, but doesn't do so much for me by itself, but it's still one of my favorites because it looks so gorgeous when um, layered over other things, and I know a lot of people can wear it on its own as well, so it's definitely a cult favorite for sure. Um, the only thing is I wish they'd make it smell better. Oh god, it smells like, it smells like plaster or something, I don't know, but you gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. Um, another one is the Bare Essentials Bugs on Lip Gloss, I guess. And this is the color Amber, and it describes it really well. It's just like a really warm amber peach color. And it has gold shimmer in it, too. I don't know if you can see that. But um, this does plump your lips and make them look really, really pretty. So you can see it's super, super warm. It's like an orangey peach. So usually I don't go for colors that are that orange, but this one is so beautiful. I seriously... I love this one, um, and it feels so good when it's on your lips because it's like all cool and tingly. Last but not least is my Smashbox Sheer Lip Gloss in Afterglow. It's a corally pink color. It just looks so smooth and glassy on your lips. That's this one. You can see it's really corally. My favorite thing to do with this is either layer it on top of a nude lipstick or just apply a little bit of lip balm and concealer on my lips to really pale them out. And then just add a touch of this on top. And usually I'm not big into like sheer lip colors. I like things that are really pigmented, but this is like, it's just different. It's really, really pretty. So I wear this on a lot. It's almost always in my makeup bag. That's all of them. All 35 of them. <laughs> I don't know, but there seemed like a lot. So I hope you guys like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.